Welcome to this demonstration of how you and your students can use the corpus of Forum English, or COFI as we call it, to study the patterns of English grammar. I will show you how you and your students can use COFI to search how words and phrases in English are used in different contexts. Just a quick reminder that while you can certainly use your phone to access these tools, some activities may be more practical to complete on a computer. Kofi is a simple document file. This means that you can open it in a word processor, such as Google Docs or Microsoft Word, to view and use it. Opening it on a web browser will also work. The main tool you will use is the search tool, which is available on all word processors and web browsers. To demonstrate how you can use Kofi, we will focus on using the search tool to find occurrences of some English verbs related to the act of speaking. English learners at early stages may struggle with differences between English verbs expressing speech as they're used in different ways. Four speech verbs are very commonly used in English, and these are say, speak, tell, and talk. It can be challenging for students to understand why, when, and how to choose one over another and to use them in the correct grammatical patterns. Teachers can design lessons by asking students to discover more about the verbs expressing speech. Kofi provides a great opportunity to show students how to discover real life uses of verbs. Now, let's use Kofi to find examples of these speech verbs and create a list containing examples of how each verb is used. To get started, open Kofi on a web browser or download it and open it on your computer. To use the search feature, you may press Ctrl and F on your keyboard on your PC. If you have a Mac, you need to press Command and F. Let's start with our first verb, say. Type say in the search box and press enter or return on your keyboard. This will highlight all occurrences of say in the corpus and show the first instance of the word on your screen. If you press enter or return again, you will be shown the next occurrence and so on. The next step is to create a list of how the word say is used in context. For this, you need to create a new document on your computer or an online document on Google Docs and make a list of how say is used. You simply need to copy and paste features to make your list. For this, you can use your mouse to highlight the part you want to copy and right click and select copy or use the keyboard combination Control and C or Command and C on Max to copy it. You're interested in the grammatical pattern of say, so be sure to copy some words that come before say and the words that are used after it. A good idea would be to copy the whole sentence or enough words that come before and after your keyword to include the context. To paste what you copied, you go to the new document you created, right-click on the location where you want to paste, and click Paste or use the keyboard combination Control and V or Command and V on Mac. Once you have copied the first occurrence and pasted it into your list, go back to your search on Kofi, hit Enter or Return to see the next instance of Say and repeat the process. In the next video, we'll look at more examples.